The police just pulled over and started dancing and smoking a cigarette. Hello. Met the police and now we're riding with the military. It's the longest cable car in the world. Today we're so drunk. How are you guys? Check out this view guys. Hopefully we can make it and we don't get stranded in the dark. That was hands down the craziest hitchhike ride. Huh? <laughs> It's a beautiful car. <laughs> I'm jealous. Good morning guys. Just got a ride down from our guest house to the main road here in that larder. Lovely guy from the guest house. Sweet old guy. We're gonna hitchhike right now to a place called the Tartev Monastery which has the world's longest cable car up to it. Hopefully we'll be able to get there. I think it's over 100 kilometers and then we've still got a hitchhike back. So hopefully we can get there, see some epic views, go on the world's longest cable car and come back in one piece. Let's see if we're as lucky with the hitchhiking today as we were two days ago. Got to ride part of the way, guys. Hello. Good job, I did. I'm not fun, man. That's a few. Merci. That's nice vodka though. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Thanks for the cat biscuits. Chichis, come on, f***, mate. A zip and a double cup. I'm getting high as fuck. See, thank you so much. What's that? Merci. 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 Well that was awesome. As you can see by the previous scenes, that was hands down the craziest hitchhike ride that me and Quinn have ever had in our whole entire lives. They picked us up and when they pulled over I went over to the car and I could instantly smell alcohol on the passenger guy's breath. The driver looked quite chill so I just kind of left it. We jumped in the car and then this guy in the back is absolutely obliviated. Gets a bottle of vodka out, starts pouring shots of vodka. We like try to say no and he just won't give up so Quinn has the first shot and then after some more persuasion I have a shot and then Quinn had three shots. I had two. I had to deny the last one. I can't. I would be absolutely obliterated. And to be honest, I'm a little bit tipsy now. I'm not gonna lie. I get so damn trippy in my mind. I go blank. But I think denying vodka in these countries is like extremely rude. When push came to shove, I didn't want to offend them. Anyway, really nice guys. I think the driver was sober. He like didn't even talk the whole time. He was just focused on the road. The passenger and the guy next to me were absolutely written off. They were so drunk. <laughs> 
Anyway, very nice guys. I think the guy that was sitting next to me, he said something about YouTube, which was interesting because he saw my camera and was like, something, something, YouTuber, something, something. So he must have been saying, are you gonna put this video on YouTube? I was like, yes, and he was like, hey. Started dancing and smoking a cigarette. Getting high, getting high. Now we're gonna try and hitchhike the rest of the way. I think we still got maybe another 80 kilometers or so. Wish us luck. Hopefully we don't have to drink a whole bottle of vodka today by the time we get to the monastery. Otherwise, I don't know what will happen. What did you think of that experience, Quinn? That was awesome, man. It's crazy, but it's awesome. And how was the vodka? It wasn't bad. I'm quite partial to vodka. Double cup full of drink. So Quinn's drawn up a nice sign here. It says Tatev in Armenian. I love the swirly pea. Swirly pea, you're my boy. The police just pulled over and said hi to us. <laughs> Pretty cool. Really nice police officers too. They're saying, oh, we're just going up and down the street so we can't take you, but thumbs up. Hey guys, so we got another hitchhike ride from an Armenian soldier, super nice guy. We've just pulled over, there's something to do with the military going on here. We don't know if the van in front of us is broken down or kind of just waiting for our driver. He looks like kind of like a boss kind of guy of the army crew around here, so not sure what's happening. We're just waiting for him to come back and hopefully continue on, but pretty cool so far. We met those loose drunk guys at the start and then met the police and now we're riding with the military. I do I saw a bunch of hecka dre chop. Oh, 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 Thank you. Okay. Ah, see you later. Alright guys, military guys brought us all the way down to the turn off to Tatev, which is where we're going. So we've just got another 10 kilometers, so we've done over 100 kilometers of hitchhiking already with two rides. The military guy did say no photo and stuff, so didn't film any of like what they were up to or like their weapons or anything, but there were a lot of guns, I'll say that much, but I'll respect his requests. Amazing to get a ride with the military, they were so friendly. Quinn's already on first duty of hitchhiking. How are you guys? I see you. Your name is what? Quinn. Quinn? Yeah. Nick. Nick? Yeah. And you guys? Argan. Arsi. Argan Arsi. Argan Arsi. I am from Russia. Nice to meet you. Alright guys, so we arrived at the cable car here. Those guys in the green lighter there drove past us and they were going in the opposite direction and they turned around, offered to take us down here. It was like 10 kilometers for, I don't know, maybe like nine US dollars, which is okay. I mean, if we're hitchhiking and it's kind of like a specific place to come, it's all right. And they loved rap music and stuff, so pretty cool to listen to some Rick Ross. Gonna head in and go up the longest cable car in the world.
So we arrived at the cable car place and we bought a ticket but the cable car doesn't leave for another half an hour so we've got some food here. Twins cost about $6 and this is like a really upmarket place. Mine cost about $4-ish. Pretty good deal. We're going to eat this and then jump on the cable car and get some amazing aerial shots of this beautiful valley here. Alright guys, we made it to the top. Pretty beautiful views there as you can see. I think the cable car ride was maybe about $7 each. And now we've arrived at the Tatev Monastery, so we're gonna check it out. So the monastery that we're about to go into was one of the most important sites in Armenia's medieval history. Established in the 4th century, a lot of it was destroyed in an earthquake in 1931. But they're currently restoring it right now. Obviously they've done a lot of restoration over the years. And it's interesting, it's funded by the European Union. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Fourth century. Alright guys, so there's a better vantage point over there and you have to go up this forward drive track. So we've got a taxi here for like around two dollars US. Gonna take us all the way around the road then back. Get a better viewpoint of the monastery here. Should be cool. Made it up to the top of the monastery. Incredible. Check that out. Check out this view guys. Hitchhiked here with some drunk guys, then the military, and then some young gangsters. Hey guys, gonna jump back on the cable car and head down. Amazing location here, but we gotta head off now. Alright guys, it's about quarter past five in the evening right now. Now we've got to try and hitchhike all the way back to the guest house, which is like a hundred and something kilometers. Quinn's just making another sign down here. Hopefully we can make it and we don't get stranded in the dark. <laughs> Hello, Okay guys, we have made it back to our guest house. Would you believe it? After we left the cable car, we went up to this old larder, because you know how much we love larders. We asked this guy where he was going and he conveyed to us that he was going to the main road. Uh, we were like, can we get a ride? And he was like, yeah, money, money. So I think it costs like, four US dollars to the main road. And that was just the hard part to get to the main road to hitchhike. Hitchhiking on the main road was kind of a bit easier, but just that part getting from the main road to the cable car, cause it's kind of like a touristy, like off the main road kind of area. We had to pay both ways. But as soon as we got out to the main road, we literally walked up to the top of this hill. One of the first people that we put our thumbs out to pulls over in this nice VW Golf, big smile on his face, drives us all the way back. We made it back in really good time. And he was a super funny guy who was listening to old school rap music and we were trying to tell him that we loved larders but he was saying that he didn't like larders at all so that was the only thing that we couldn't agree on but apart from that we were just having lots of jokes with him and he spoke a bit of English so it was pretty cool. Today we interacted with so many locals that's the best thing about hitchhiking is the interactions. Started the day with those drunk guys which were super funny. Apart from the shots of vodka you know I wasn't too keen on them. <laughs> Oh, no, shut
but as I say you know it's the hospitality and sometimes you just got to accept and you know it was a great time it was funny and then we got picked up by the military guy which was cool again to just go for a ride with the military guy he was super friendly too and then met those like young gangster guys <laughs> and they took us to the cable car went up the cable car came back and then I just told you what happened so crazy day so many different kinds of people all great people you know all walks of life as I said in yesterday's video everybody's the same everywhere you know meeting those young guys that listening to like rap music and stuff I mean that could have been in New Zealand you know it's the same everywhere tomorrow we are going hitchhiking again surprise surprise we are going to hitchhike to a huge lake what is it Quinn the largest lake in Eurasia it's one of the largest bodies of water in Eurasia that should be epic just before I go I want to say a huge thank you three more patrons since yesterday's video amazing cannot believe it I've met my first goal on patreon which is a big deal if you want to read up about the goals and stuff then it's always linked below but I just want to say a huge thank you to David thank you so much for joining up man legend Matt thank you so much Matt appreciate your support thanks for the comment yesterday too and Muhammad welcome to the crew Muhammad thank you so much guys all the patrons again means so much to me and helps me so much especially in these kind of countries when we're hitchhiking and stuff you know a little bit can go a long way that means more videos and more adventures thank you so much for watching again see you tomorrow for another vlog another day another adventure <laughs> Oh, my God.